In order to connect your DJI Mic 2 system to your new Insta360 Ace Pro 2, you actually have three different options. Like this, using Bluetooth, like this, using USB, or like this, using the mic adapter. Which connection is the best, or at least the best for you? Well, let's find out. For the last few years, pretty much every Insta360 camera has offered two possibilities when it comes to hooking up an external microphone, either by using Bluetooth or by using one of these guys, a mic adapter, which plugs into the USB port on the camera and provides a 3.5mm microphone jack. But the new Ace Pro 2 goes one further, and as far as I know, it is the first Insta360 camera that allows you to connect a compatible microphone directly to the USB port of the camera itself. Now, I do emphasize compatible because not all microphones will work in this way, but one microphone that does work is the DJI Mic 2 system, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. We're going to take a brief look at the three different connection types, look at the advantages and disadvantages of each, and then we're going to do some testing to see how the audio quality compares between the three, as well as some signal stability testing. Now, this is not going to be a how-to video if you want a lot more detail on connecting the DJI Mic 2 by either Bluetooth or USB. Check out these other videos on the channel. The main focus of today's video is simply to compare the three different connection types. So, as always, there's a lot to cover here, so as usual I'll place the chapters up here and on the video timeline, but before we get into it, the usual disclaimer, this video is not sponsored, paid for, or influenced in any way. I purchased all of the equipment with my own money, and the opinions are entirely my own. Also, if you enjoy our video today, please remember to give us a like, and consider subscribing to the channel for a lot more similar content. So, let's get on with it. Okay, let's start out with the Bluetooth connection. Now, this is the quickest and simplest way of connecting the microphone. After you've been through the initial pairing process, all you need to do is power up the microphone, and when you do that, it will automatically reconnect to the camera. But there are two other key advantages to this setup. The first being that, of course, there's nothing to plug in, so your action camera remains an action camera. With all its ruggedness, it's still waterproof and weatherproof. And this is certainly the best setup for any kind of real action filming. Another key advantage of the Bluetooth setup is that if this configuration works for you, basically you just need to buy the transmitter, which is significantly less expensive than buying the entire system. Now there are a couple of disadvantages to this setup, the first being that you are limited to just a single microphone, whereas with the receiver configurations you are able to use two microphones. And also in the Bluetooth configuration, apart from being able to adjust the gain on the camera, you have no access to the various advanced features and settings that are part of the DJI mic system. That includes things like noise reduction, recording of a backup channel, low-cut filters, and so on. Next up, let's look at the direct USB connection. So in order to set this up, basically I have removed the side door from my Ace Pro 2. I have placed the USB-C adapter on my DJI Mic 2 receiver. And of course, all I need to do is plug it in. So as far as the setup is concerned, it's not quite as straightforward as the Bluetooth connection, but overall it's pretty quick and easy. Now with this configuration, of course, you do have the ability to use both microphones together with the receiver, and you also have access to all the advanced features and settings available on the DJI Mic 2 system, including things like noise reduction, recording of a backup channel, low-cut filters, and so on. 
Now, a clear disadvantage is that obviously in this configuration, your Ace Pro 2 is no longer exactly action friendly. You have this receiver hanging off the side of the camera. And of course, in this configuration, the camera is no longer waterproof or even weatherproof. Another disadvantage of this configuration that I've found is that the overall volume level is very low, but we'll talk more about that in the audio testing later. Okay, and now let's look at the mic adapter configuration. So once again, I'm starting with the side door of my Ace Pro 2 already removed. I'm gonna plug in my mic adapter. So we're gonna plug in our three and a half millimeter cable and the other end I plug into the receiver of the DJI mic system. So basically it's ready to go, but of course now I have the problem of what to do with this. Now you could use a cage or something similar like this one that allows you to mount the receiver but of course that does add to the complicated setup. And with this particular one, it also creates the problem that it blocks your view of the screen when you flip it up. Now the advantages of this setup are, of course you can use both microphones. You have full access to all the settings of features of the DJI Mic 2 system. And in theory, this should be the highest audio quality level of the three, but I guess we'll see that in our testing later on. And as far as the disadvantages are concerned, obviously this is the most complex and time consuming to set up. And also with this particular configuration, you can imagine this is not a particularly rugged solution. And of course it is no longer waterproof or weatherproof. Okay, let's do some testing. Now to start out with, and just as a reference, I'm using the onboard microphones of the Ace Pro 2. And I find that at close distance, the onboard microphones do a very good job and there's really no need for an external microphone. It's obviously when you have a lot of background noise, if you have to move away from the camera, if you have to turn your back on the camera, that is when an external microphone really comes in handy. So what we're gonna do next is connect the DJI Mic 2 using the three different connection methods that we looked at. And we're going to do an audio test and also a distance and obstruction test. So let's start out then by connecting the DJI Mic 2 in the simplest way, which is by using the Bluetooth connection directly to the Ace Pro 2. Okay, so for our first test then, I have the DJI Mic 2 connected wirelessly by Bluetooth directly to the Ace Pro 2. How is the audio quality compared to the onboard microphones? Obviously now using a wireless microphone, if there's any background noise, if I have to move away from the camera, the audio quality should be better than by using the onboard microphone. Okay, so next up, I have now plugged the receiver of the DJI Mic 2 system directly into the USB port of the Ace Pro 2. How does the audio quality compare with the Bluetooth connection? And of course, being wirelessly connected means that I can move away from the camera, I can turn my back on the camera, and you should still be able to hear me perfectly fine. Okay, and finally, I have the DJI Mic 2 now connected to the receiver, which is plugged in to the mic adapter on the Ace Pro 2. In theory, this should be the highest quality of the three. But what do you think? How is the audio quality? Also, if I turn away from the camera, turn my back to the camera, obviously at this short distance, I would not expect you to hear any dropouts of the signal but that may change as we get further away from the camera. So now let's do a distance and obstruction test. I'm gonna start out about 40 feet away from the camera and for that, we're gonna switch back to the Bluetooth connection. Okay, so now I'm around about 40 feet away from the camera uh, using the Bluetooth connection. 
and as long as I maintain line of sight, you should have no problem hearing me okay. But I have found that Bluetooth is very sensitive to obstructions. That could be as simple as me passing my hand across the front of the microphone. Certainly, if I turn my back on the camera, it may have an impact on the audio signal. And also, if I were to go now behind the RV here, block the line of sight completely, can you still hear me okay? How is the audio quality? Are you experiencing any dropouts in the signal? And as I emerge from behind the RV again, you should be able to hear me okay over the Bluetooth connection. Okay, and now let's try 40 feet away from the camera using the DJI receiver plugged in by USB. How does the audio quality compare with the Bluetooth connection? And also, how does this connection handle obstructions? If I pass my hand across the front of the microphone, are you hearing any dropouts of the signal? If I turn my back to the camera, blocking the line of sight completely, again, are you noticing any dropouts of the signal? Also, of course, if I walk behind the RV, a major obstruction, lose line of sight completely to the camera, how is the signal quality here? Are you experiencing any dropouts of the signal? And once again, as I emerge back into line of sight, I assume the signal is perfectly fine as long as I maintain line of sight with the camera. Okay, and now 40 feet using the full connection. I have now the DJI receiver plugged in to the mic adapter on the Ace Pro 2. So again, this should be the highest quality in terms of the audio. What about signal stability? If I pass my hand across the front of the transmitter, are you experiencing any dropouts? If I turn my back to the camera and completely block line of sight, again, are you hearing any dropouts? Let's once again take a walk behind the RV to see what difference this makes. I'm wondering if the signal stability is any better with this connection type than with the other two. And of course, as I re-emerge, any signal stability issues should be resolved at this point. Okay, so much for 40 feet. How about we try 100 feet? And for that, let's switch back to the Bluetooth microphone. Okay, how about 100 feet away from the camera? So currently I'm using the Bluetooth connection. I hope you can see me up here and hear me okay. Again, as long as I maintain line of sight, the signal should be okay. But again, being Bluetooth, this is very sensitive to obstructions. If I pass my hand across the microphone, if I turn my back on the microphone, I would imagine that you're going to get significant dropouts of the signal. Okay, and now at 100 feet using the USB connection, how does the audio quality compare to the Bluetooth connection? How does it handle obstructions? Again, passing my hand across the front of the microphone. What about if I turn my back on the camera? Are you experiencing any dropouts of the signal at 100 feet using the USB connection? And now let's do the 100 foot test using the full connection with the mic adapter. How does the audio quality now compare to both the Bluetooth and the USB connected? Again, this should be the best audio quality. What about the obstructions now at this distance? Passing my hand across the front of the microphone, does that cause any signal disruption? If I turn my back on the camera and block the line of sight, once again, are you noticing any dropouts in the signal? And that concludes our test at 100 feet. Let's take it to 150 feet and again, starting with the Bluetooth microphone. Okay, and for our final range test, let's try 150 feet right now using the Bluetooth connection. How is the audio quality? How is the signal stability? If I pass my hand across the front of the microphone, do you get any dropouts of the signal? If I turn my back to again, are you hearing any dropouts? And once again at 100 feet, but this time using the USB connection, how does the audio quality compare to the Bluetooth microphone? Again, if I pass my arm across the front of the microphone, does that cause any dropouts? 
if I turn my back on the camera, does that cause any dropouts of the signal? Again, this is 150 feet using the DJI receiver connected by USB. And finally, 150 feet using the full connection, using the mic adapter. How does the audio quality compare now compared to the Bluetooth and the USB connection types? Let's once again do the obstruction test. I'm passing my hand across the front of the microphone. Are you noticing any signal disruptions? If I turn my back on the camera, blocking the line of sight, once again, are you noticing any signal disruptions? And so that concludes our testing at 150 feet. So what is the best way to connect your DJI Mic 2 to your Ace Pro 2? Well, if we simply go by audio quality, I think it's pretty clear that using the dedicated receiver is going to give you better audio quality than you'll get through Bluetooth. For me, the Bluetooth audio always sounded a bit muffled, and of course it is extremely sensitive to the slightest obstruction, even at close distance. Now, when using the DJI Mic 2 receiver, I think clearly plugging it in by way of the mic adapter is also going to give you better audio quality than plugging it in directly to the USB port. As I mentioned in the captions, when plugged into USB, I had to boost the relative volume pretty much to the max, and at the same time drop the relative volume on the mic adapter audio in order to get similar audio levels. And when you boost your audio in that way, you're typically going to end up with lower quality audio. Now, with all that said, of course, one of the issues when using the receiver is that your camera is no longer rugged, waterproof, or even weatherproof. So in a situation where you need that, I guess Bluetooth is really your only option, and it does provide decent audio quality as long as you can avoid those obstructions. So the bottom line is, if you want the best audio quality, use the dedicated receiver together with the mic adapter. If you need your camera to be rugged and weatherproof, then use Bluetooth. I really don't see a lot of use cases for the USB connection other than when you simply want to plug in quickly and you don't have the mic adapter on hand, but do keep in mind when you use the USB connection your audio quality will suffer compared to using the mic adapter. So that covers it for another video, I hope you enjoyed it, if so please remember to give us a like and consider subscribing to the channel for a lot more similar content. If you have any questions, any comments, if you have suggestions for future videos, please drop those into the comments section, otherwise thanks for watching.